What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are in fact new here, I would love it if you guys would be a part of my beautiful family that we have created here and I don't know, maybe hit subscribe. Today's video is an exciting one because it is a summer haul. I got clothing, shorts, dresses, tops, but I also got two pairs of sandals and some accessories. So if you guys would like to see what I got, then just keep watching. Let's go ahead and start with the top. So the first top that I purchased is this one here. It is a linen looking top. It might actually be linen. This is from Walmart. I'm really bad with fabrics, so I'm just going to show you some close-ups and hope you guys just know what I'm talking about. So this is the first top. It's a linen looking material. It has stripes. I see a tan stripe, a magenta e maroon stripe, and a navy blue stripe and it's super cute it has these buttons going up the front and it also ties here in the front um, it's not a crop top or anything it just has this cute little tie if you're not feeling the tie because honestly i go back and forth of whether i'm feeling the tie or not i honestly might just cut that off and fold it under and sew it just so it's a normal top but the top is longer in the back than it is the front, and it's a really flowy shirt. I got mine in an XL, which is a 1618. Don't remember if I told you, but this is from Walmart, and it was $15 and like 88 cents, I believe. So really affordable, really cute. I've already worn this one, that's why it's a little bit wrinkly, but I am obsessed with it. The next two tops are actually the exact same shirt, but just a different print. Uh, the next one is this one here. Same thing, has the buttons, has the tie, same material, but this one is white and I want to say it looks gray, but I want to say it's like a navy stripe, but it looks gray. Really, really pretty. I love the sleeves. I love how flowy and oversized these tops are. I got them all obviously in an XL, which was a 1618, but I'm almost thinking I could have gone down to a large, but I'm just going to wear them super flowy. Um, like I said, oh, this one has the tag on it. They were $15.44, so super affordable. Walmart is really stepping up their clothing game, let me tell you. Do not, I repeat, do not sleep on Walmart. And the last top that I picked up is actually the one I'm wearing. Same exact top as the previous two that you just saw, but it's in green, obviously. Same thing, it has the buttons going down the front. I forgot to mention they all have pockets as well. And it does have the tie just like the other ones because it's the same shirt. It's just so flowy and oversized that I just love it, you know? The next thing I got from Walmart is a dress and it is this yellow floral wrap style dress. Um, it looks like a wrap dress, but this actually doesn't come undone, which I like a lot. This is just a little elastic band here that will hit you at like probably the smallest part of your waist. I got mine in an XXL, which is um, a size 19. I just had a feeling I needed to go up a little bit, so that's what I did. This was $9.92. Are you kidding me? You cannot beat that. It's made of the softest material in the entire world. Super, super stretchy, which is great. Let's see if it says. 92% polyester, 8% spandex. Get out of here. I love this dress so much. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off with the rest of the Walmart stuff. I then, I've been trying to find some black jean shorts that are not too short because I just don't feel comfortable showing like a crazy amount of my leg, but I also don't want those long, like what are they called, Bermuda shorts, not for me. So I want like a perfect length short. It's like, it's so hard to find. It's honestly gotten so frustrating to the point where I think I might just buy my own black jeans and cut them to my own length and maybe like fray them a little bit. So I just can't, it's so annoying. So I bought these without trying them on. These are the Signature by Levi Strauss and Company. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're the high rise shorts and they didn't look like they were going to be crazy, crazy short and they do have a little fold, so I figured if worst comes to worst, I'll just um, cut where it's sewn here on the side and fold them down. I do also size up in my shorts because I don't want them to be super tight, so I got a size 18 in these. And overall, I will say it's definitely the, the most comfortable fit and the closest to what I've been looking for that I've purchased 
in the last two months. All the other ones I've purchased, tried them on at home, and then returned them. So these ones, I might try to make them work. I'm not sure. They're still just... I think it's honestly just I just don't like my legs. So no matter what shorts I buy, I'm going to find something wrong with it. But I need to snap out of it because it's hot as hell and I'm wearing shorts this summer. So these shorts, I can say so comfortable. Also from Walmart, I saw these super cute scrunchies. These were only $3.88, so I picked them up. There's just a coral one, a like sage green, and then a leopard one. Totally into scrunchies. Obsessed. Lastly from Walmart, I saw these earrings and I've been into, usually I just wear like studs, but I've been into kind of trying to change things up with the ears lately. So I picked these ones up. They're super, super, super pretty. I love them. And they were only $2.88. So had to have them. Then I went to H&M and I typically don't really go into H&M all that often because I feel like their clothes don't really fit me. And the plus size section, even the smallest size in the plus size section is too big. So I'm just kind of that odd like size, that in between size. Um, for tops in the regular like straight sizes at H&M, I can fit, but the bottoms, it's usually just a no-go for me. But I saw these shorts laying out and they were a size extra large and they looked big enough. So I picked them up. I thought even if I just wore them around the house as pajama shorts, they're made of just like a cotton stretchy material. Let's see if it actually says 50% cotton, 50% M-O-D-A-L. I've never heard of that in my life. Maybe that's another language. I have no idea, but they're just comfy, stretchy leopard shorts. They do have pockets, which is great. And I like the really thick elastic waistband up here. So originally I got these, um, just thinking I was gonna wear them around the house in his pajamas. They were only like $12, but when I put them on, I was like, now this is the exact length short I've been looking for my entire life. So I think with a cute little black crop top, I'm gonna wear these out. Like, I don't care. They weren't meant to be pajamas. Like they weren't like in the pajama section. So um, I'm for sure gonna go back. They had, I know they had plain black with like white, some white design on them. They had maroon ones and some other design as well. I wanna say like polka dot. So I might go back and get more because this fit is un unreal. It's literally exactly what I've been looking for and they're only $12. So obsessed with those. Then I picked up two headbands. I've really been wanting headbands that have this little like crisscross tie action going up at the front. So I got two of them. I got a black one and a leopard one. Super cute. They were only $6.99 each. Then I just had to peek my big old head into Forever 21 and I saw this dress and this color just really stood out to me. It is a like thin strap. I don't want to call it really a spaghetti strap. It's just a thin strap um, tank top dress that cinches in here at the waist and kind of flows out. It's like a really pretty light purpley blue, almost periwinkle color and it's floral. I love the dresses that have this neckline. I feel like it looks good on my body shape and um, especially the ones that have this like elastic in the back here. I got this in a 1X and it was $27.90. So I thought this was really pretty. I am going to Texas at the end of this month and I just know it's gonna be hot as hell. Like I'm already, like I'm so excited for the trip but I'm just dreading the heat. So I'm trying to pick up like dresses and shorts specifically for that trip because, ooh, let me tell you. I am not wearing long pants that entire trip. I'm just not. I feel like this dress would be really cute with even some like white vans or something. Like I don't need to be like dressy. I just want like a casual sundress, you know? Then I got these like forest green linen material drawstring shorts. They do fold at the bottom. I thought they were really cute. Um, I got these in a 2X because once again, I usually size up on the bottoms. Um, they were $17.90 and I think they're cute. Lastly from Forever 21, I just picked up some casual black sandals. Thought these were cute. I got mine in a size 10 and they were $17.90. I think these will be cute just for whatever, a casual day out. I'm not sure if I would wear these for like an all day outing when I'm in Texas. Like I want sandals for Texas, but I just don't know how comfortable these would be. I'll have to like test them out for the next couple of weeks before I go. But I just thought they were cute. They're black with like gold little detail studding and stuff. So 
Yep. Okay, and the last place that I went to was Tilly's. I was in the market for some platform espadrille sandals and boy oh boy did Tilly's come through for your girl. These are the cutest sandals ever. Um, they look like this. They're just platform espadrille sandals. Imagine that. They only had black in store, but I ordered um, similar sandals to this in like a camel like color and then also white because I think white platform sandals are so, so cute. Um, these are the soda brand sandals and I find that because I have such a wide foot, I can always count on soda brand sandals or shoes or booties in general. Like all of soda brand fits my feet so, so well. So if you guys have really wide feet, try Soda Brand and they're really, really affordable. These were only like $29, I believe. Um, and I got them in a size 10. Usually I'm a size nine and a half, but I don't think they do have sizes. So I obviously sized up a little bit um, and they fit perfectly. They're so cute. The accessories at Tilly's were buy one, get one 50% off. So I picked up two things. I got another one of these yellow like headband wrap situations. I just think they're so cute with like your hair down and like big. I think it would be adorable. And then I also saw these scrunchies. Once again, I'm obsessed with scrunchies, but these like stood out to me because they look so comfy and cozy. They they look like those um, like those teddy zip up jackets that were really in a few months back or this past winter. So I picked these up as well. And these were $6.99 and the headband was $7.99. So that was it for this little summer haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm still looking for some more summer clothing. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, please let your girl know, especially if it's like an online store because I have to order it, it has to get here in time before I go to Texas. Um, we're going to Texas, like I said, towards the end of the month. I want to say the 24th. I can't remember. I think it's Memorial Day weekend. So if you guys have any suggestions, please, 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 please let me know. Nothing really super like fancy. I just want casual, cute, cute clothing that's on trend. So with all of that being said, thank you guys again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. I've been really, really stepping up the picture game lately. Also, leave me a comment or send me a DM. I reply to every single person on Instagram. So thank you again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.